So this is just an update to the new studio, um, which I've been spending far too much time on. I agree I've been concentrating on this rather than content, but I've now promised myself to do two hours of creative work a day on weekdays because of the way my shifts run, which means that every day I should have enough time to put in some creative content. So this is just the first bit. Um, I've used up my allotted time to do the latest version of Rangers Radio. Um, that took up a bit of time, but now I'm just adding some video, just getting some stuff uploaded. If you can look in there. There's the main camera that I'll be using. It's a Canon Rebel T3i, which as I understand is the same as a 650D. And you can see I've got a lot of records now about half of all the records that I have mostly singles there's about 100 singles now and uh, quite a few LPs and uh, I should be using those and the new direct drive DJ decks for scratched vinyl which is another project I'll be doing I don't know if it'll be on a different YouTube channel yet I might well just leave it on Rangers tube and just have it as a new series in another playlist so yeah, and uh, there's my Tascam, and uh, there's the Motorola laptop which I'm using for Raspberry Pis. All sorts of things that I'll be showing off over the course of the videos. Hopefully over the course of the Rangers TV and you can just see there, that's uh, an upload that's running. Yeah. So here, so I'm going to throw in some bonus content. Um, it's a very simple thing. I'm just going to show you these. Now this is the Ganzo copy. A slight improvement on. It's getting closer. The um, Spyderco Paramilitary 2, which is a very nice knife, but unfortunately it costs 140 30, 140 dollars, so about 120 quid, whereas this was a tenth of that, this was 12 pounds including delivery. So yeah, it's a, it's a really nice knife, I like the fact that you've got the, sort of, this is what's called an axis lock, you pull that back and essentially get a release of the blade, it's a nice folding knife. And you just close it with one hand, and just like a spider coat, it's got the one thing. The only downside to these, and I don't think it's a major one, is that the jimping, the thumb rest here, is very rounded. But it does mean you've got this sort of choil where you can choke up on the blade to get more precision, or you can pop it back in your knife. So it's a two position knife. G10 handles, and a really nice reversible belt clip. So you can have it for left or right carry, although it does it is limited to a, a down in the pocket, a blade down carry, which I don't mind too much. I'm never going to need a quick draw on this and a lovely big lanyard hole for any kind of cord you, you want to put through that. Stainless steel liners, which gives it quite a nice amount of weight. And uh, that famous Spyderco bird beak knife blade shape. So yeah, so this was $12. I rate it. I rate it massively, so it's Ganzo. So you can find those on AliExpress or um, Banggood, no, or Gearbest rather, which is where I got this one. Reasonably quick delivery, but yeah, nice thick blade for a folding knife. And the it does take a while for these spring-loaded axis lock to close up. And if you look, it's one of those things that they look at. It's reasonably good centering and no wiggle room on the blade. The blade does not move around, either up or down or side to side. So I'm reasonably impressed. It's 440C stainless steel. And you can see I've got reasonably sized hands, and it's, I find this very comfortable. And the uh, clip actually helps with that grip. It's not what you might call a combat knife, because it's not easy. It's not shaped in a way that lends itself to using as a weapon particularly, obviously, other than 
all knives that can be used as a weapon, but there again, all ball ballpoint pens can be used as a weapon, so no real major thing. Okay, so that's my very mini review. I'll be comparing a couple of other Ganzo knives, and I'll be comparing knives in general. But it's a nice piece of kit. I'd say if you were just starting out for bushcraft or prepping, you could do a lot worse than spend your money on something like this. It's absolutely brilliant to open up. It can be made extremely sharp, holds an edge, the steel's good, and there's a lot of it. So, yeah, overall positive. And uh, I probably will never buy a Spyderco military because I can't justify that kind of spend. Not on a folding knife, not when I've got so many other knives, really. Unless I suddenly win the lottery or become very rich. Or Spyderco want to send me one to sort of say, well, we believe our knife is better. So if you're out there, Spyderco, feel free to send a comparison model. But yeah, it's just a quick overview of that knife. I like it. I've I've had nothing but I've got nothing but good feelings about the Ganzo knives I've ordered. I think it's a very good brand at a very reasonable price. So that's it. That's uh, my very short video. There'll be lots and lots of stuff coming out, lots more bits on, on, with proper videos and stuff like that. This is just a quickie to just remind you that I haven't forgotten about you, and things are moving. And I shall try and see if I can keep up with that two hours creativity a day. Okay, so this is V signing off.